right, guys, uh, what I got here is a Mark 7.5 um, folding mirror assembly with BAP. And as you can see, it has the puddle light. Um, and if you can see that up there, it is actually BAP as well. So uh, pretty cool, pretty cool unit. Um, haven't installed it yet, but while I have it out of the car, I decided that I would take apart um, the cable a little bit to get the pinouts to make sure I can test this light out by connecting it up a little bit on my bench rather than in my car to see if I can get it to light out right. So um, the first thing I found was I have a power supply going here that pins um, one and no three and what's opposite of three on the other side of the loom are the positive and negatives for the turn signal like so. So if we take a uh, negative and take positive, we can see what the OE yellow looks like. It's not bad, you know, it's like if we turn it off and blink it. So while that's okay, um, what I really wanted to do was take something a little bit more lavish and replace it. It's a cleaner line. It doesn't have um, all the cells and it's pretty bright. So if we take the plug from this and plug it into this one, this has an additional uh, lead and that lead goes to the puddle light lamp. So let's try this again. So now the turn signals look like this. And when you start the car up, initially uh, this will be blinking and on. And then the puddle light will light up, giving it this blue hue or semi-blue hue. And then it'll turn off and it will just be this blue color. So once I get the blue color flashing, then um, it'll only last as long as the puddle light. So only for startup sequence. So I think this should be pretty cool. We'll see. So when I... Um, when we get this all done and uh, get um, the unit back in, we'll we'll see how it looks from the outside. All right.